an art therapist with Lending Hearts, and we are going to make paint chip collages today. So in your packages, you should have received um, paper and then a handful of different paint chips. Do you guys have those things? Yeah. Okay. And also in a previous one, you probably had a glue stick. Um, so you, if you have your glue stick or glue bottle even at home, we're going to need that for our collage. Okay. Um, then I'm trying to think anything else. If you would like to use scissors to break apart your paint chips, um, you can. You can also tear them. They're pretty easy. So I actually tore some of mine into different shapes. So um, it's up to you. If you have scissors and you want to grab those, you can use those as a way to make different shapes and sizes with your paint chips, okay? So everybody get all their things and then we'll get started. Oh, also maybe a drawing utensil. It could be a pencil, a marker, a crayon, um, just in case you wanna sketch out your design first. And that's it. So whenever you have all those things, let me know and we will get started. Okay, some of you are good. See a couple people moving around still. <laughs> Waiting on Riley to come back. Can do this. Okay. So, have you guys made collages before? No? Okay. So, the main idea with a collage is that we just take different types of materials, whether it's paper, um, pictures, magazines, and combine them together to make an, a new image. Isabel, do you have a question? Ours are like full. Yeah, so that's okay, that's okay. So what we can do is I'm gonna let you decide what shapes you want them to be in. So that's where you can either cut them into different shapes and sizes, and I'll show you kind of what mine look like, or you can even tear them apart. So what I did is I just tore them and cut them in different pieces. So for example, I had a big blue one and I just made it into different random shapes and sizes. So whatever you wanna do, okay? So it doesn't matter if they're a perfect square or, or not, it's okay. Mine all look very different. And then what I'm going to suggest doing is that we kind of separate the piles into different color schemes, okay? That might help us make our design. So let's start by taking all your paint chips. I see another question there. You have a question? Um, is it okay if, like, if we can, like, cut these mini squares? Yeah, you can cut in. Like so like this, you just pretty much cut them like anyway. Yeah, absolutely. You got it. We're just breaking them down into smaller pieces so that we have an assortment of shapes and colors to choose from, okay? So it can be however you want, as big or as little. We're just trying to make a variety of pieces and shapes, colors, so that we have a lot to choose from, okay? So once you start breaking them apart in different shapes, See, I started to put mine in different color schemes. So I have some like tan and brown, some orange, okay? So you might start to separate them by color schemes. And that's just gonna help us determine some inspiration or ideas for our design. So maybe take your things and separate in different colors after you break up the pieces, all right? And just kind of set them off to the side of your picture, of your paper, so that we have some space to work with. All right. So let me know when you guys are ready. I have to organize my pile too. So hopefully you received a handful of different colors to choose from. 
and we'll just separate them out, okay? So take your time, no rush. How's it going guys? Are we all okay? Okay, good. We'll make our color piles. Has anyone ever made art with paint chips before? You have, Riley? Awesome. You don't know? <laughs> Not sure? Riley, what did you make with your paint chips? Um, I think I was actually making a turkey. A turkey. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. You can make all kinds of things, especially with collage, because you're just taking different shapes of fabrics or pictures of images and combining them to make something out of nothing. So it can be a really fun thing to try um, to make an abstract image with different shapes and colors. Oh, I see another hand. What's your name? I forget. Can you tell me your name again? That's Connor. Connor, sorry, I forgot. Connor, what's the question, bud? <laughs> oh, I can't hear you. Does it matter if like, like, like any kind of orange can like be in the same pile? Oh yeah, absolutely. So see, look, I'll show you. For example, I have like four different kinds of oranges in my pile, okay? So it's just to get a, a, a scheme of colors. So like anything that's sort of yellow may go together or sort of brown. Um, it's just going to help us create our image and be a little bit more organized, but it doesn't matter. There can be different shades of each color in your pile. Is the cutting and tearing going okay? Looks like everybody got a lot. <laughs> that cat sitting behind Riley is hilarious. <laughs> it looks like perfectly set so that he's like peering over your shoulder. <laughs> Doesn't it look real? <laughs> it does. Oh, now it's a I hate that. <laughs> I don't know how to make a new background. I should think about that. Riley's the professional. Funny. <laughs> And guys, you don't even have to use all of them if you find you're getting a lot. Um, it's just to get, get us started. So cut as many as you want, um, but I don't know how many you received. So it may, be, it may be a lot. And as long as we get some piles started, that's good, okay? We can always cut more. I always like the names of, on the paint chip colors.
I like these ones with like square holes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can like peek through. <laughs> yeah, there's all different kinds. Some are square, some are more rectangular with different shades on them. And then there's ones with the little holes in it. Good job, guys. Yeah, I see Isabella's tearing some too. So you can tear or you can cut. It doesn't matter. Some might be a little bit harder to tear. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Good? Are we getting excited for the Thanksgiving holiday? I know it probably looks a little bit different this year than other years. Yeah, <clears throat> I can't go home or anything. So I'm just oh. sitting here. Oh. Is your family out of town? Yeah, my family is in Michigan and I'd have to quarantine for two weeks. Um, yeah. And I can't take two weeks off of work. Yeah, oh, that's tough. Eddie, do you have something you were gonna say? What's everyone's favorite thing for Thanksgiving? Ooh, that's a great question while we're finishing cutting our materials. I don't know, what's yours? Do you want to start? Uh, well, mine's uh, our homemade green bean casserole with beef. Ooh. And mine's the turkey. Turkey? Sarah, I just remembered that you got your hair cut. It looks very nice. Thank you. <laughs> you donated your hair. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember now. It looks different. It looks very nice. Yeah, it's it's still it looks like it's grown though. I'm assuming it how how many inches did you get cut off? I cut off ten. Oh my god. Now where was it? Like, up your hair must have been really or where was it? It was um like almost to like my stomach. No, I mean like when you got it cut, how short was it? Uh, about this length, I got oh, it cut like two weeks ago. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so amazing. Isabella, did you have something that you wanted to share about Thanksgiving? No, no but um, are we gonna start? <laughs> yeah, we are. We were just oh. having a little bit of conversation while everybody was finishing prepping their paint chip samples, but I think we're gonna get started in just a minute, okay? Connor, did you have something you want to say? Um, I got something I don't really have for Thanksgiving, but I just think um, I I might like it pumpkin pie. Ooh, I, I think pumpkin pie is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like pumpkin pie too. My favorite's mashed potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like turkey. My mom actually makes like a beef tenderloin because like none of us eat turkey. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into I mean, turkey either. If you're not gonna eat it. That's okay. You can eat whatever you want. Does anybody else have a favorite food? Thanksgiving food? I think I like the pumpkin pie too. Mm -hmm. And sweet potatoes. <laughs> let's see how is everybody doing do we feel like we have enough pieces to maybe get started yeah and we can keep cutting you know as we go okay so if you feel like you need more pieces then we'll just make more all right so to start you have two options here so if you've ever done a collage before um, sometimes people just start by layering the pieces and creating an abstract image. So that might mean, you know, without drawing anything first, I might start like laying out where I want my, where I want my pieces to go and make a different shape. 
you know, and they could be layered or you could separate them out and then go back and glue them down. Or if you have a specific image in mind, like maybe I want to make a landscape today, then I could draw it out first with like a marker or pencil and then fill in almost like you're coloring in, fill in with the pieces, okay? So you have those two options. So I'm gonna make, I think a landscape for mine today. So you can either choose to do something similar or you can just make your own image. Like if you have something that you wanna make that you, know, you think with the colors that you have, you're inspired to do, then you can draw that out first on your paper. And then we can start filling in with our paint color chips to create our collage, okay? So I'm gonna make a landscape and how I'm gonna do that is by just making a couple lines at the bottom for um, like the ground. So I might make want a line like this, like some hills, right? If you wanna do something similar, you can. It's totally up to you, okay? And maybe I'll make a sun um, to get started. And then I'm just gonna fill in. So like I said, you can draw something, like this is what I decided to draw, right? It's just some hills and a sun, something simple. But you can make whatever you want to draw, okay? So this is your collage and it can be whatever you want it to be, all right? So maybe draw out an image if you wanna start with that. And then we'll start filling in with our paint chips, okay? So take a moment, maybe sketch out what you want to do, and then we'll start filling in. Does anybody have a question about that? No? Okay. Again, it can be whatever you want. It can be a thing, a person, just a random design. It's all good. Is Eddie asking a question? Someone? No? Okay. I thought you were talking. So let's draw out our, our designs and then we will get started. Let me know whenever you guys are ready, okay? All right, Isabella's ready. Riley's ready, Eddie's ready. Okay. Oh, awesome, I see another landscape design. <laughs> so I see a couple people are just finishing up. Oh, nice, Isabella. I, I see a couple of us are gonna do this landscape, which is nice. It's a nice fall thing. And I think landscapes are pretty soothing. Connor has one too. All right. So now that we have our design, it's okay if you're still drawing, you can keep going. I'm just gonna explain the next step. Now that we have our design laid out, we can start planning how we want to put our color chips onto our paper, okay? So I'm going to, Pull down on my paper here so you can see. So what I like to do for collage is to kind of lay out where I think I want to put my things first, just to get an idea, and then I can glue them down. So I might start laying out my pieces, and then we can go back and glue them down, okay? So I might put like these here, so start trying out some different things and see what you think you might like. And it can go on top of your, your um, drawing. Right, so you see how I'm starting to layer out some of my pieces. You can do that the same way in any way that you like and choose whatever colors you think inspire you today, right? So it can be, it doesn't matter if your sun is blue or purple or yellow, it can be whatever you want. It can be money colors, okay? 
So we'll start layering out. And when you feel like you have, you know, a good idea of how you want it to go, you can start gluing down your pieces, okay? And all you'll do for that is, you know, take your glue stick and I might take one of my pieces, set some glue on the back and just press it down, okay? And we'll do that for each one of our pieces. So it might be a lot, <laughs> but we'll take our time and we'll just glue each one down and create one big piece out of all of these little pieces of paint chips, okay? Does that make sense, guys? Good, okay, awesome. Well, I'm very excited to see how these turn out. So now we can start layering down our paint chips onto our design and see what happens, okay? Let me know if you guys have any questions or you need any extra help, okay? So we'll all start putting ours down here. Okay. On mine, I'm leave, choosing to leave a little bit of space in between each paint chip when I put them on my paper. Um, but it is up to you. If you want to layer them on top of each other, you can. But I'm choosing to leave just a little bit of extra space between each one, kind of like how a mosaic would be. So you can decide what works best for you, okay? And like I said, feel free to cut up any more paint chip samples if you need to do that. Or even tear them or cut them um, more than you already have. If you need a certain shape to fill in your picture, you can break it down even more to kind of fit in and adjust each piece. See how it's starting to come together a little bit here. And this can be a really meditative process too, just taking each piece one by one and adding it to your picture. It takes some concentration and focus. And so it can be a, a calming practice as well.
sounds like everybody's very focused. <laughs> Does anybody have any Thanksgiving traditions that they like to do or that you're going to do this year that you want to share? Connor, did you want to share something? No. I'm like done with mine. It's really hard to make. <laughs> It's a dinosaur. Wow, that's so cool. That is awesome, Connor. <laughs> that's great. Thanks for sharing that. Eddie, did you want to say anything? We always drink Vogue Shoes sparkling juice. Oh, that's a fun way to celebrate. <laughs> it's what? It's the good kind. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. These are looking really great, guys. I like, I see some people taking some different approaches. So you, Connor, that was really, really cool how you made a dinosaur out of the different shapes. Is anybody else making something different? Are the Freemans trying to say something? Oh. <laughs> you can always write it in the chat if your mic's not working too. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, I can't hear you. trying to chat with them to see. Awesome, Connor. <laughs> Is he typing in the chat? I'm not sure. No. Let's see. Oh. oh. We are inviting friends for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I feel like Thanksgiving is such a nice time to be around friends and family and people we care about. Um, so this year too, I know it's different for many people. So some people may not be able to travel to see their family or friends. So they may do something like we're doing right now, like a virtual get together so that we can still be connected. So yeah, things might look a little bit different this year.
hopefully one day in the near future, we can have our art group in person and be reunited again. <laughs> but for now, this is also fun just to get together from our own homes and see and see one another and make art together. Awesome, Isabella. Nice, Isabella. Yeah. That's looking great. I love how you're using like different shades in different sections too. So it doesn't have to be all exactly the same color. You can do different shades of each one, kind of like shading, but with our paint chips instead of with like a pencil or paint. The thing about collage that's awesome is that you can do so many different variations and use different pictures or images. And I think that it always looks awesome, however you make it. So it's a nice way to get some inspiration for designs and try out different, different ways of making images. Oftentimes people make collages like out of magazine pictures, um, or like newspaper pictures, fabric. So that's something you can try too on your own at home if you have any extra magazines laying around. Have stuff rolling around. Everybody's so focused. And sometimes I even try moving my paint chip samples around in different um, directions so I can see kind of like a puzzle, right? how it might fit together. So I might try holding it like different ways to figure out how the pieces might go together in a better way. So you can try that too, like turn them around and see kind of see how it fits, just like a puzzle. Right. Let's 
Is everyone still doing okay? Okay. I like how focused everybody is. Just in the in the flow of art making. Oh, that's so cute. Wow. She's using a lot of green too. Yeah. That was wow. awesome. That is so cool. You guys are doing such a great job. And everybody's looks so different, even though we're using the same materials. Way to go. Yeah, you guys know if you ever want to make art with paint chips, you can get some paint chip samples from your, from like Home Depot or Lowe's if you ever go with your parents. That's a nice way to find some paint chip samples. Or you can do this with just colored pieces of paper. So if you have construction paper in different colors, you can also tear or cut them in different shapes, just like we're doing with these paint chip colors and make a collage that way too. Oh, wow. Look at that. I think that's another landscape type of piece. That was awesome. Awesome, Isabella. We have a dinosaur landscape. Don't forget, guys, you can take a picture of your um, artwork or your of you making your artwork and um, post it after so that all the Lending Hearts families can see. Connor, go ahead. Do you have a question? I like your picture. Oh, thank you very much. I also like your picture. Thank you. <laughs> I think we should all show ours when we're finished so we can see all of the creative masterpieces that everybody we made. Can make. See, um... <laughs> Do you like dinosaurs, Connor? Yeah. <laughs> like a movie museum. Oh. <laughs> yeah. How's everybody else doing? Lots of thumbs up. What's going on there, Eddie? That's all I got so far. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. Did you break yours into really, really tiny pieces? No, I just used the big pieces and trimmed off the edges to make like a tire. Oh, nice. A race car. A race car. Cool. Or did you draw it out first or are you just doing it from your mind? 
But my mom brought it out so I draw, drew it out so I can fill it in. Awesome. Well, that's a really cool idea. You did a nice job making this circle shape for your wheel out of the pieces. Is anybody doing anything this afternoon? Any activities at home? I have ballet. I have hockey. Um, actually, at my real ballet place, I'm going soon. I'm going to be leaving. I have hockey. You have hockey? Connor, what did you say you have? <laughs> He doesn't have anything today. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Ballet. Probably just playing like games or like Minecraft with my friends. Okay. Yeah. That sounds fun. It's nice that you, there's some games like that where you can still play with your friends from your um, own homes. That's exciting. We're going on a trail, the Freeman said. That sounds very nice. Like yeah, a warm trail. Somewhere warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's nice. I'd like to go be in a warm place and walk on a trail. I know. <laughs> that sounds very lovely. <laughs> I just got, we just got back from Florida last night. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, how was that? It was, warm. It was nice. We went for a wedding. And you I'm, guys have to quarantine. It sounds like we won't be able to travel anymore. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have to quarantine for 14 days then, or did you do the COVID test? Um, we did not do the COVID test. We're hanging out at home for 14 days. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Every, you know, we both had it already. We both had COVID in September. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, so. <laughs> I didn't know that. We should be. We should be good. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are okay. We are. It, it, it all turned out okay, thank goodness. Yeah. Oh, I saw Aubrey, you're, you're putting yours up. Wow. Look at how like fun it. that is. It's so colorful. And I train tracks. Oh, oh, that is so, so cool. They look so like so <laughs> You want to go in there? These are looking awesome. I got it right. So. Dinosaur, so we have train tracks, dinosaur, landscape, a race car. <laughs> Do you have glue on your hands? It's old glue and oh. <laughs> he loves slime. <laughs> yeah, you like get it a lot on your hands, it can get really sticky and yeah, I melted it. I put Ooh. it in the microwave for a little bit and it got like really sticky and it kind of stretches a little bit. Oh, I don't think oh. I've ever tried to do that. It's my own slime hack. <laughs> oh yeah oh that's right I remember from a while ago one of our groups you were very very interested in making different types of slime <laughs> are you still making it yeah <laughs> slime is pretty fun Oops, I'm dropping my pieces. Oh. Does everyone have a break from school, from your classes this week? Kind of. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> yeah, we have to do like uh, lectures. We have like online lectures that we have to watch. Mm. Yeah not have to go in person or anything oh yeah i've been online all all semester long yeah 
Oh man, things are different. Does anybody else have a break from school? We do, we have a half day this Wednesday. Okay, awesome. So it'll be a nice shorter week and hopefully you guys get some time off to relax, take a break from your schoolwork. Are you guys all in person? No. Half and half maybe. But now I've heard that so many are all are like going back to fully from home at least for like a month to see. I think the Freemans are taping something. Nine days of no school. Whoa. Ooh. Hey, I'm jealous. <laughs> that sounds awesome. What are you going to do with all of your time? That's a long Thanksgiving break. Well, it's probably like uh, basically a whole week plus um, possibly like two sets of um, week ends. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah, maybe they just gave him the whole week off and then with the weekend, mm -hmm. it makes it nine days. That's a long time. Be a nice break. I like Connor's shirt. What does it say? <laughs> as um, I see rules as more of a rough guide. He's like, look at me. <laughs> All right. That is a pretty cool shirt. Go ahead. Okay. He's off mute now. Oh my gosh. You guys, these are so awesome. That is That's so, so cute. lovely. I love it. These are awesome. So cool. So you is that I, a I kind of layered the pieces a little bit so that it fully fills in. Awesome. <laughs> So see, you can make so many different things out of these. So it's a nice thing. Collage is so great that way. You can just let your imagination go wild and make all different kinds of images from just little pieces of paper. <laughs> What's he doing? He's what are you so doing, silly. Connor? He's so silly. <laughs> I'm zooming my eye now, it makes it so small. I can always even see. <laughs> guys are
Mine is taking a while to fill in. I don't know about you guys. Was it really warm in Florida right now, Michelle? Yes, it was. Um, we were we were in Key Largo for the wedding, and then we went to Key West, and then we went to South Beach for a little bit, and it was in the 80s. It was nice. <laughs> jealous? I'm jealous. <laughs> it was raining yesterday when we left, so... Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it was easier to leave when it's raining than it is when it's fully sun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, well, I'm glad it was nice. It's nice that they were able to have their wedding. I know, it, it was supposed to be in June and got moot canceled. So I'm happy that they were able to finally do it. Yeah. What are you making? Me? Yeah. I am making a landscape, so I have like a sun oh, and nice. sky, and then I'm trying to fill in some like ground earth colors, gotcha. like an abstract, um, an abstract landscape. <laughs> and I went with the more mosaic type of look, like spreading them out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nice. You can like fully layer them or you can make it look more like a mosaic. <laughs> yeah, Connor? No, oh, there. Yeah. That's good. That's all. I'm eating my project. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're man. They're delicious. I, I got some m &Ms. I didn't get any. <laughs> I'm eating. You're making me hungry. I'm eating Isabella's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the m &Ms are for kids and parents. <laughs> Mm. Mm. We have to show. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody be close to finishing their picture? Connor, I think you're done. Here. I have one more present. Oh! No. oh! bad. <laughs> Mm. 
I might need to finish mine on a different different day. It's taken a while. The other thing too you can do guys is that um, you can always like after you glue down your pictures, you can even go back in and add extra color with like markers or crayons. If you wanna like fill in different sections or add something, you can always do that too. There was a dryer ball in my jacket sleeve. Oh. <laughs> How did that get there? It didn't fall out from the dryer. <laughs> Are you guys heading out for your activity soon? Yeah. Oh my gosh, check that out. That's awesome. Thank you. Is that a truck? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Three. With a tree in the back. Yeah. You guys seem to have like a holiday theme going. Go ahead, tell us. Did you see that one, Michelle? Yes, I did. Oh, man. You got the tree. Nathan yeah, put it a tree. Oh, good. Train tracks and then. Kind of yes, they decided that Ryan got the tree no, no, in no, his no, truck. No. Oh, yeah. Wow. Nathan put it, the tree up. And then Aubrey put Dad. the that is so creative. I love that. Oh, you guys should hang those up for a nice for like holiday decoration. <laughs> Very cool, Connor. I love you guys. Bye guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. 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 Have a nice holiday. Bye. You too. Thank you. <laughs> How's everybody else doing? Riley, how's it coming? I'm almost done. Ooh. I'm done. Just awesome. Woo! Looks oh, so nice. Good. You really layered those on. I love that. Thank you, everyone. We're going to, Aubrey's going to head out, Ryan and Nathan. Awesome. Have oh, a wonderful you Thanksgiving. You Thank too, so you guys. Thank you. <laughs> the tides have turned. <laughs> Riley, your background just make me laugh. But where do you come up with these things? <laughs> I just have them. You just have them. Do you find them on like meme sites or or like on some like Instagram? I don't know if you're on Instagram I yet. Or on, you I just watch videos on them. I just don't. <laughs> I like that one. I don't know which one I like more, that one or the one with the cat and the waffles. I know. The cat <laughs> and the waffles is funny. <laughs> it made me hungry, so I had to order a bagel for myself because I was that hungry. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So we have a little more time, guys, so we can finish work a little longer, share our final pieces. It was nice to have such a big group today. Yeah, I think this is the biggest one I've seen so far. Yeah, I think it's the biggest one maybe, all, all at one time. That was super nice.
I hope everyone has a happy Thanksgiving. I have to go, but it was nice seeing you guys again. Thanks for coming on, Rachel. Yeah, thanks for joining. Hope you have a nice holiday as well. Thank you. Yeah, try to make the most of it. I'm sorry you can't go home. It's okay. Like my mom wanted me to lie to work and I was like, I can't do that. And that's not safe. So yeah. Are you going to do a virtual thing at least? and get? Yeah, to I think so. But well, have a good day. You Bye. too. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Sarah and Eddie, how's it going? Good? Making progress? Blue everywhere. Do, 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 do. What do you guys want for Christmas? <laughs> hmm. Good question. I don't know. Actually, I think I want some more art supplies. <laughs> Since we're spending so much more time at home, I need to <laughs> I need to make use of my creative energy and and make more art. So maybe some new art supplies. I don't know. What do you want? A uh, Nerf Ultra 3. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I don't know what that looks like. I think they have it on TV commercials. I forget uh, what that is. Up that is to 120 cool. feet. Whoa. Up to. Up to. It's not uh, guaranteed. I'm always go there. <laughs> do you have one, Riley? I just know about all of it. My friend has one. Oh, okay. Oh, ultra one. Almost done. All right, I can't even see it. I think it still has to dry a little bit more, but pretty much done. You want to show it? Uh, uh, I need to turn off the thing. Oh, awesome. Ooh, nice. There's like the sun slash the moon. And then there's like a little bit of like a pond with a stump slash something else on there. There's a little bit of land and then there's like sand. Yeah. And then something else. And awesome. then there's a guy. That's awesome. Creative. Very cool. I think it turned out so nice. I really liked the like the shades of purple. Purple one. Sky area. That was nice. <laughs> it's smog. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to get in into making backgrounds for myself. I just have a whole bunch of memes and I just randomly decide to put them on. <laughs> well, they make me laugh. 
Animal Crossing. <laughs> ah. It's our time out here. Got a little extra time, guys. How's your race car coming? Good. Good. Here's like here's how far I got so far. Making the windshield already. Oh, nice. Oh, I can see the outline that of the car now that you drew. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> Sarah, what did you decide to do with your collage? A turkey. A turkey? Nice. So thank you all on Thanksgiving theme. <laughs> I found my ooze. Oh, your M and M's. <laughs> M plus M is just mm. Mm. Yes, it is. Mm hmm. You eat them and you say mm. <laughs> That's why they're called that. <laughs> they are delicious. Everybody's eating their M&Ms. What is that person with the leaves, Riley? Oh, he went away. Is that it's like a some like ad I saw, and then it was like, so, here's what would happen if like you didn't, or if like time stops and then just leaves fall over. Like I was, and I thought it was funny. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know if it was like from a movie or something. It was just some like random ad that happened. It was like, I don't remember what it was for, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> I didn't know you can just make anything your background. I thought you had to use backgrounds and Zoom. This is what they have. That's pretty cool. It is. It makes it, it makes these meetings uh, exciting. Like if you have some for work or school or something. Yeah. <laughs> Pick it up. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, 
What the part that you need to find? It. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Spoiler, it's right here. Yes, I see it. <laughs> Larry grows suspicious. <laughs> uh, those are funny. Probably have like 10 or so more minutes, guys, before we need to wrap up. I think maybe 15, 10 to 15. But we can always continue if you guys are still working. I know Riley, you finished, but you can always add, add more if you need to. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, these are so creative. I love them. I hope everybody takes pictures of them and, and shares them because they are turned out so wonderfully. I need to go find Waffle Cat. I accidentally... Like there's, I was trying to add a new one, but the delete button was right next to the add. <laughs> what do you guys think should we all hold ours up so far let's see what we got ready hold it up Woo! a race car landscape another landscape <laughs> Awesome. Did you guys, what do you guys think of this process? Good? It was fun. It was fun? Yeah. Very creative. Very remember, creative. you can, like, all you need is paper, glue, and something to use to make your collage. So that could be paint chips, it could be pieces of construction paper, pictures from magazines. So you can do this on your own at home um, with a few materials and it turns out pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah. So you guys can keep working on them too on your own. Um, but I know we need to wrap up in a little bit here. Yeah, Eddie, if um, it looks like you're probably not gonna finish by the time we're done. so hopefully you can take a picture and email it to us yeah. there's this one that i made a while ago with a whole bunch of crayons and then you put glue them to a thing and then you use like a hair dryer or something to melt them wow that's awesome that's neat very cool that's right. I remember you had a lot of art supplies in your space over there. <laughs> you showed us last time. So, Gabby, when they're done, I they can just like 
hang it up or there's nothing else you need to put over it, right? No, no. I mean, of course, like with all things that you glue, like sometimes some of the pieces may come loose or something. So I would just set it, like let it make sure it's dry and then you could hang it up. You could even put it in a frame, like actually putting it in a picture frame if you wanted um, would maybe help press the pieces to the paper a little bit better. So you could do that. It would work just fine or you could just hang it up or, you know, put it wherever, but you don't have to do anything. Just be gentle with it until the pieces kind of dry. And then, you know, if one starts to come loose, you can always just add a little bit of extra glue and like touch it up a little bit. So that's okay. really it. Okay. Yeah. Pretty simple. <laughs> that's Riley got now. It's like a <laughs> it's horse motorcycle. <laughs> Oh, I see. Very cool. <laughs> half a motorcycle, half horse. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Well, some of these, all a lot of these had like a holiday theme. So maybe you want to hang them up for the holidays it, it, in the house. Yeah, I know. I know. Is everybody finished? Except for Eddie, maybe. <laughs> Eddie's taking an M&M &M break. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. You know, you can always add more to it. Like I said, I actually might need some more paint chips to finish my whole thing because it looks like my paper is too big. <laughs> so um, I may need to add more, get some other pieces of paper to fill it in. But yeah, so I don't know. Any final thoughts or anything before we wrap up in a little bit? I hope that everybody has a nice Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. And, Thank um, you. Hopefully we will see you again before Christmas for our December art therapy. Yeah. So that's going to be, um, what date is that? It's a little earlier, right? Because yeah. Of, yeah, it's like the third week. Because, yeah. Because, because of the holiday. We'll yeah. move it up just like we did this one. Yeah, so we'll definitely. Um, so it'll be December 19th. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so we'll be sending out the, the project and materials and boxes soon. So look out for that and hopefully you guys can join us for that one. And we can get a big group again. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Aww. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> if, you, if you guys can send a picture of your final, um, you know, your final project, that would be great. Yeah, I always look on <laughs> on the social media to see if anybody posts pictures and see what people come up with. It's really fun. Great. Okay. Well. Do you want to wrap up, Gabby? Are we finished? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I think, what is it? It's 11.20, you know? If anybody has anything else they want to, they want to share or talk about, I'm happy to hang on for a couple more minutes. Um, but if we're mostly finished, then we can wrap up and just enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll check in next month, see how things are going and make a new project. Okay, right. Is Riley taking us on a tour somewhere? A oh. Lego car. <laughs> and I kind of hot wired it to have a motor. Oh. It doesn't it is a little slow. I may have to like relocate it to the floor. Give me a second. But it is it actually does move. Every once in a while it just kind of stops. But it does move. And I did this without using any instructions. The car was with an instructions, but all of this wire is back here is something I added. Wow. So yeah, it just move. <laughs> That's awesome. It sounds like it's like the engine started. I'm not sure how well you can hear it, but it has like a little hum. 
I saw it moving. Yep. It does move. It's just every once in a while it just, it only moves for like five seconds and then it like kind of freaks out. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's what I've been working on these past few days. Well, you're busy. Yeah. You're creating all kinds of things there. You'll have to show us next time the newest creation on our next okay. video call. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, it's been so fun, as always, getting to make art with you. So uh, hopefully we see you next month. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, it's been great to see everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you guys for joining me. Bye. 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 Thank you.